Mrs. Nick, we're giving a review of the cues I was able to use from my secret collection in Switzerland on my two-day training here. And let me show you the first one that I was really interested in, which was the laminated shaft of Dave Coots. Now look at that walnut and maple veneer. How perfect those peaks are. Absolutely perfect. It's and it's got an invisible joint as well, which is lovely. And what I found is it's not it's not presented as being a low deflection cue, and it isn't, it's actually fairly high deflection. So I love the feel of the shaft. I love the look of the perfect veneers and perfect um, peaks, chevrons, arrows. And interestingly, as soon as I started playing frame with it, I put it down because it had quite a lot of deflection. So then I took up the Mike Baldrige, which is very similar to my current cue, although I've got a plain black butt. Look at this beautiful workmanship, and look at these lovely peaks as well. Yeah, lovely. So I enjoyed playing with this partly, I think, because it's similar to my own, similar experience, but for a sense of familiarity, I would still choose uh, my own cue, obviously. And then the other one had was the Mets, which is their low deflection offering in the marketplace. So slightly different butt design, bringing over some elements of American pool cue design. And this is a spliced maple shaft, so I think there are four, maybe six sections of this maple shaft fused together to make what they uh, claim, what a lot of manufacturers claim these days are low deflection cues. I didn't find that to be the case. I thought it was similar to other cues, as was the Daru. And this is int this is really interesting, actually. Number one, because uh, Daru uses only two of these ebony splices, which is very unusual. And they've got a small step in the joint here, which again is unusual. Normally these are flush. But the shaft is designed as four pieces of ash. I think it's four pieces of ash spliced together. And look, you can see even this has some chevrons here, some quite accurate chevrons that look like arrows, even though the ash is spliced together from four quarters, four segments. So I found this interesting. I, I found it to have a similar amount of deflection to uh, the other cues that I've been using and still by far the lowest deflecting cue I've used is the Accurate um, and there are plenty of lovely cues to behold though in the market and that's been my experience here in Switzerland. The boys are practicing after our heavy weekend of training really enjoyed it and I've enjoyed sharing the uh, experience with cues with you guys so let me know if there are any other questions you've got any other types of video you'd like to see and uh, let's keep sharing the cue joy so that the difference in height that I played there was probably only two millimeters or so this is the super gym player of the year for 100 ranked players you come to a stop in a controlled way and begin the delivery in a controlled way as well.